Okay. <clears throat> so we're in Mexico now. We are. We're not in Portugal. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we're a little behind to say the least. Our last video was in southern Portugal, which we haven't been in since February, February? January, something, something like that. Yeah, something. Yeah, 2000 and 2022. So. so we are about nine months, ten months behind, let's just say. <laughs> but um, we are going to catch up to those videos because our next Portugal video is going to be in Lisbon and Sintra, which is a really cool place. There's a bunch of cool videos that we're still going to put up for our last like few weeks in uh, Europe. But since we've been back in the U.S., uh, we've been doing a lot of projects and uh, planning for this trip that we're currently on right now, which is the, I mean, just the very beginning. We're at, we're about 10 days in, right? Yeah, I think today's day 10. 10 days in. We're in Baja right now. We're, uh, we just crossed about to the middle part of Baja. And our plan is to go all the way down. Through central. Not the bottom of Baja. Yeah. Keep going all the way down. <laughs> yeah. Not the bottom of Mexico. Keep going all the way down. Not the bottom of Central America. No. Take a boat around. Okay. The Darien Gap. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to keep going all the way down to the bottom of Argentina. That's our plan. Roughly for the next couple of years, we're going to be doing this. And uh, it's been really hectic. It's been really, you know, um, heavy in the planning and the fixing up the van, getting the right parts, making sure it's prepared for a trip like this. Because unlike Europe, a trip like this um, is going to encounter more sort of developing countries, bad roads, more in the, you know, similar to places like Montenegro, Albania. So we are 10 days in. So rather than waiting for all the European stuff is caught up, we're going to jump right into the beginning of our trip, which starts in San Felipe, Baja California North. Norte. Norte. <laughs> so this video is going to show you guys the first four days of our trip and then we're going to try to keep up as up to date as we can on this channel with where we are. Uh, probably maybe about a week, two weeks max behind mm -hmm. and that is our plan anyways. So we're going to do the best that we can to do that and if you guys want to follow even more closely obviously you can go to our Instagram. Yeah, that's more up to date where we are and uh, posts and stories. Yeah, and then we're doing a little bit of a different kind of setup now. We both have uh, cameras now that we're shooting. I'm shooting most of the A-roll, Marlene's shooting a lot of the B-roll. So we're trying to put together good looking videos, but trying to do them relatively efficiently. So without further ado, we're going to show you guys our first four days which is San Felipe, California. <laughs> Not California. Baja. San Felipe, <laughs> Baja, California. Nailed it. <laughs> it was all California at one point. Still is. This is technically still it's all Mexico. Baja, California. Okay. Yeah, so enjoy. What they've been building sand castles the tide actually comes up right through here so after a full day of building during low tide the tide comes in just rounds them out that just mean more for them to do the next tide <laughs> they always have their eyes closed so we are here now in San Felipe Spent four nights here. Came down, crossed the border on Tuesday. Today is Saturday. So yeah, we just had uh, four nights here. We spent Thanksgiving here yesterday. Didn't have a traditional Thanksgiving dinner. Actually, no, Thanksgiving was the day before. Yesterday was Black Friday. But we, uh, we just went to a restaurant. Nice seafood restaurant here in San Felipe. La Vaquita. 
Good. Really good. I had a soft. No, look at this crazy salt. Is this salt? Is it? That's sugar. Hey, well, try it. Dare you? Are you gonna eat the whole thing? No. I'm, it's like a, it's like it's like it's like a fifth as tall as me. We ate out every day, basically. Here with my brother and his family again. We spent uh, a couple weeks together up in the Olympic Peninsula earlier in the year. So they had a week off during Thanksgiving, so they wanted to come down and meet us before we started heading further south. So today they're leaving. It's been a nice four days here in San Felipe at our usual spot here on the beach, Lapa Lapa RV Park. For sure more expensive man, we pay 35 bucks a night here, whereas before I think we pay something like 20 and we pay like 15 if we stayed a week, but here we stay four nights, we still pay 35 so close enough to the border, prices are still high, so uh, we can't wait till we get down further south to see, you know, more affordable places, but, you know, the middle of Baja is where it's at as far as uh, cheap beautiful places are concerned tide here goes way out this is not even low tide yeah right here was an island before and now it's just beach there's four dogs that have been hanging out with us here at the campground the two spotted one with the like a boxer face those two are uh, bigger so they kind of bully the other two around but they protect each other though, for sure, you can tell, because when other dogs are around, they band together. That's just the life of stray dogs here in San Felipe, but they're super sweet. They're really nice dogs. If we were in the market to adopt a dog, we might have adopted four dogs after this day. There's one right there. They walk with us all the way down to the Malacone when we go eat all four times. We walk down there, walk down to the restaurant with us, sit next to us, wait for food to fall, and uh, walk all the way back with us. So they've done this before. We're not the first people they followed. She brought her camera. Oh.
from here it's about a mile each way to walk into Malacone. So it's not super close, but it's also not far. You can definitely do it every day if you want to. So, you know, this is kind of the best of both worlds. You're not at a super busy place. You can have some peace and quiet. And then if you want to go into town, you don't have to drive. Mila found this. Mila's friend. I'm gonna leave him here. They must have just washed out from the foundation. Check out these old soda bottles. A big storm came through here about a month ago, so a lot of damage happened. And this is like a bunch of damage that came from this property, probably. Well, look at these old bottles. Pepsi, 7 Up. That's Coca Cola. Well, anyways, we're gonna head out on to the next spot. This is mystery ice cream. Oh, cookies and cream? What'd you get? Uh huh. <coughs> oh. What flavor is that, Luca? Uh, bubble gum. Oh, wow. It's okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>